Then we have minimalism. Now, when we deal with minimalism, we're dealing with the art of the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, art that sought to reduce the complexity of design and content as far as possible. What they're trying to do is create the universal. Let's strip away everything that's going to speak to a specific type of person or a specific culture or a specific cultural idea. Anything that would be specific. Let's take all of that away and try and create something that everyone's going to take something away from. But this is a personal something. This is not a message that the artist is specifically trying to send. So basically we want everyone to look at it and to get their own message from it. Consequently, we see this focus on these impersonal, frequently geometric forms. There's supposed to be no communication between the artist and the viewer. So unlike other art, where the artist has a specific idea that they're trying to get across, a specific concept, instead what's going on here is the artist is trying to give you a mirror so that you can look in on yourself based on your own experience, maybe your own emotional state or your own conception of the world. So basically leaving the meaning entirely up to the viewer, whatever's going on in your head. And frequently what we're seeing is elements of your own thought process, which will change from hour to hour, day to day. So you could look at the same piece three times and see three completely different ideas. But they're all ideas coming from your own head. The artist is simply trying to pull them out. So we're dealing with Donald Judd, who creates Untitled 1969, and it literally is a stack of copper boxes. In fact, these are two versions of his Untitled from the same year. The only difference is the one on the left are solid copper colored boxes, and the one on the right, uh, it's a copper frame with a red acrylic inside. And this is meant to be a simple repetition of copper boxes. In fact, when he sends this to museums, what they will receive is a packet explaining exactly how it is to be displayed. There's a certain uh, mathematical equation that is presented with this piece so that each of the levels is perfectly equidistant from the one below it and that those distances are equal to the size of the copper boxes. That way it's taking away anything that we could read into it. He also uses industrial techniques to create perfect form so we don't have the artist hand the artist's hand really visible. Whereas if he were cutting these by hand, those imperfections could tell us something. So he's trying to eliminate that. Remember, this is a mirror. He's seeking the universal. All aspects of the work are based on, again, these simple mathematics and these simple instructions. For example, how far from a corner should it be? How far from an outlet should it be? That sort of thing, so that you don't see anything else, preferably, except this piece. Now, looking at it, there's a lot of different ways that you could see this. For example, maybe you're an athlete, or maybe you have back trouble, and what you're seeing is a spinal column. Maybe the one with the red acrylic is speaking to a pain that you're having right now. Maybe this looks like a bookshelf or depending on your life experience, it could look like something that I'm going to be pulling my four-year-old off of as they've climbed halfway up it. And as, as I pull them off, they'll probably pull off a copper box and now I'll be charged millions of dollars. Oh, don't have kids. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so you're going to see any number of different ideas. Also, these boxes, the metal is actually reflective. So you're going to see a slightly distorted, because of course these metal sheets are never perfectly flat, uh, you're going to see a slightly distorted form of yourself in the box. So it's possible that you even interpret that 
in your understanding, but this is all to draw an interpretation out of the viewer, very personal interpretation, something that we would never imagine looking at the Sistine Chapel ceiling or looking at Caravaggio's paintings or uh, the paintings of David or others.